Do you want to avoid those awkward silences on dates forever? Well, stay tuned, my friend. I'm going to give you some secrets to learning exactly how. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you improve your sex life. Knowing how to keep a conversation flowing is a crucial skill when it comes to having success in your dating life, in particular on the first date. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys some conversation topics that you can use, some questions you can throw out there that are going to allow for seamless, never-ending, almost effortless conversation between you and a girl. The key to this is to find topics and questions that allow you to reveal a person's values, a person's dreams, a person's desires, and what shaped those values, dreams, and desires. On the first date, you're gonna to have to lead a lot of the conversation, but ideally, you want her to be talking a lot, because the more she talks, the more invested in the interaction she is. And the more you're gonna find out about her, and the more she's gonna eventually find out about you, and the two of you can get to know each other, as women like to put it. It's the ultimate irony that uh, on the first date, or when you're first interacting with a woman, you have to carry the conversation. You have to actually get her to talk. It takes effort and focus to actually get her to talk. But then once you're in a relationship with a woman, they don't ever wanna shut up. They never wanna stop talking. And what is every woman's favorite topic? Herself. So the key here is also to ask questions that allow her to talk about herself in a positive way and allow the two of you to start flowing back and forth in a very natural conversation. Almost like you've known each other forever. It doesn't feel forced in any way. It feels comfortable and very natural. Now, if you'd like to learn all of my tips and strategies for succeeding and getting laid on the first date, then I highly suggest you check out my ebook right here. So here are some of my favorite questions to ask on a first date that lead to practically never-ending conversation. The first one is one of my favorites, and it's, what were you like in high school? You might want to elaborate a bit more with that question and, uh, and kind of lead her a little bit by saying something like, were you, the, were you the popular cheerleader type or were you like the nerdy, shy, hanging out in the chess club kind of girl? Right? Most girls, you're painting like two sort of extremes. Most girls are going to try and say something like, oh, I was, I was the normal one in the middle. That's what most of them are going to say. But you allow her to elaborate on the kind of girl she was and then how she became who she is today. You're probing for evidence of how she developed her, her values, her dreams, and her desires today by finding out, okay, who was she and where did she start from? And obviously this can go, these questions go back and forth between the two of you. So if you ask her that question, she's gonna to want to know your response as well. So with all of these questions, by the way, it's actually useful for you to have an idea of what your answer is going to be because you're you know what the question is going to be so your answer can be a very attractive one right you can you can frame your answer in a way in a subtle way that makes you look very attractive you can layer in lots of different attractive traits and qualities in your storytelling another question i like which, which reveals a lot about someone's values and desires is if you could travel back to any point in history and be an observer and watch what's going on, where and when would you travel to? This also tells you a lot about someone's knowledge of history, by the way. If someone is a complete nerd on a particular period of history, well, bang, you, you've just found out a ton about what they really enjoy and what they're interested in. And you can go down that rabbit hole as far as you like. One question that I, without fail, will ask on every single date I go on, and it's a fantastic question to ask because it allows the two of you to get really close and it allows a woman to feel like she's known you a long time because it's a very like not so much intimate question but a very uh, revealing question and it lets your it lets her guard down quite a lot it makes you seem a lot more comfortable and relatable and creates this kind of dynamic of us versus the world and that question is well depending upon what city you're in I will say, what's it like dating Miami guys? Right? So if you're in Chicago, what's it like dating Chicago guys? If you're in London, what's it like dating London guys? Right? 
And at least here in Miami, all the response is always the same. It's like, oh, it's terrible there. <laughs> They're all players, blah, 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 blah. So I also like to follow that up with what's your worst date horror story? And then I follow up with my worst date horror story, which is always a story about me rejecting a girl for being... For, I, I have... It's, I'm not going to tell you the story right now, but it's a, it's, it's a very... It makes me look like a dude who has high standards and enforces those standards, right? So I use that as my, my horror date story when she asked me for mine, right? So we go tit for tat like this. And it's always a funny, playful conversation that comes out of this question. Another one I really, really like is, and this is similar to the first question, but it's slightly different in that I say, if you could go back in time and give your 12 year old self some advice, what would you tell them? Because this reveals things about like her regrets. This, like her regrets in life, maybe areas where she, she's felt she could have done better. Uh, it it's actually reveals a lot of insecurities and vulnerabilities about a person when you answer, if, if someone answers this question very honestly. So you can maybe, uh, maybe you can look out for some red flags in, by asking this question. Maybe you can, or maybe you can learn, again, more about her dreams and desires and where she wants to go in life but hasn't necessarily gotten there yet. A really great game that I know a lot of my friends use as well on dates is the are they fucking game. So all, it's a very, uh, it's like a voyeuristic uh, people watching kind of game. So the two of you are there. And again, it's, it creates this kind of dynamic of you and her against the world or like this sort of secret conspiracy between the two of you. It takes you kind of out of the where on a date kind of framework and puts you in more of a framework of, oh, we're, we're, we've known each other forever. We're comfortable with each other. This is calm, relaxed, natural flowing conversation. So the are they fucking game is really simple. If you're in a bar, the two of you all sit, you're sitting down together, you, you just play the game and you look around at everyone else, all the other couples in the room and you, and you sit there to, together and you deduce by reading their body language and you know, obviously not being loud and overt about this, so you're being subtle, right? And that is part of the fun in the game. You have to be, you have to be subtle and point people out without pointing at them and stuff. And it allows you to uh, it also allows you to express your knowledge of social interactions, express your knowledge of body language, express your, your knowledge of human dynamics. These are all attractive qualities, by the way. And so you can look at all the couples around the room and figure, and between the two of you, figure out, are they having sex? Is this a first date? Are they in a relationship? Have they known each other for a while? Are they, are they newly, is this like a honeymoon phase? Like you can see and observe all these different couples in a, and make a judgment on where they're at in their relationship. And so that is always a super, super fun game to play, especially if you're, in a, if you're in a quiet lounge bar where there's lots of couples around, it's a fantastic game to play. One question I like to ask that falls into my particular wheelhouse is if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Now, I'm a very, very seasoned traveler. I know a lot about a lot of different places around the world. I've been to tons of cities, tons of countries. I know a lot about little bits of little cultures all over the, of the planet, subtleties in different cultures. So it's actually a way for me to demonstrate, not in a braggy way, in a, in a subtle, humble way, but me to demonstrate that I've traveled quite a bit and I know a lot about the world. But it also reveals, again, where she wants to go in life, what her dreams and desires are, where would she like to travel to? <clears throat> and then I come in, and again, I'm not trying to do it in a braggy way, but she'll obviously ask me the question back, and then I can tell her, well, look, it's, it's really a, a toss between ah, like my favorite place in the world, like I like, I like Seoul, I like, but I also like Rio de Janeiro, but I also like this, like uh, Bucharest, and, you can, and every place has a different story, right? So I can actually continue on and, and tell a whole bunch of stories about my travels, and I can bring up some photos from my Instagram, I can show her some, some places I've been to, it actually allows me to never run out of things to say by actually asking her that question. Now, you might not be as well-traveled as me, so you can reframe this question to be to, to whatever suits you, to whatever your wheelhouse is. So maybe you're, maybe you're like a history buff, or maybe you're really well-read. Maybe, so your question might be, you know, 
what is, what's your favorite book? Maybe you're a TV buff, maybe you're a movie buff. What's your favorite movie? And then you can go down a rabbit hole of your area of expertise, but you're, fr you're picking a question that is gonna allow you to elaborate and, and demonstrate your particular area of expertise and knowledge. Now, if you'd like to learn some more practical dating advice for single guys, then I highly recommend you check out this playlist right here.